Yeah, hi, this is Kevin again. And uh, by special request uh, from uh, one of my viewers, um, they asked for a fantasy army. So I decided I'd put up the dwarves. I already did the elves, so the dwarves are the natural next on the line for me. And I'm just going to show you off the different uh, units and how I built it and how it's organized. And I hope that you enjoy uh, looking at this army as much as I enjoyed painting and building it. Now let's start with, uh, always start with the Dwarven King. What a great model. And I have to say that, um, and there's his wizard. Um, I haven't picked a name for him yet, but um, I organized this army based on, on uh, creating what I thought a Dwarven type of army would look like clans so there's the king's own uh, bodyguard um, artillery so mortars uh, large and and small and some war machines um, there's various different ones i think these are for from um, uh, demon world uh, just beautiful sculpts uh, really just phenomenal uh, these war machines are also uh, likewise just tremendous. And so I have two of those, very, very heavy, uh, made out of made out of metal. As you can see, they're they're quite quite uh, ominous. One has like gloves and uh, uh, the other one has uh, has axes. Uh, both you don't want to get in the way of. But anyway, I built this army based on on individual clans. So each, each line down here is a different coats of arms, different um, look and feel to it. Some are a little bit larger, some are shorter. It's whatever their clan decided to bring to the fight to support the king. And uh, I built basically uh, five different clans. So this is the first, uh, first clan that's coming to the table. Uh, these are hand-painted uh, flags, and there's their clan chief, a little bit more of uh, the, uh, the arquebus and, and firepower that the dwarves can bring, some napalm bombs or grenades, I guess, and, um, you know, various different, you know, large blocks of just stubborn, nasty dwarves. Um, the f most of the figures in this army... Um, are from Battle Valor Games. Ed Spedigil, Ed Battle Valor Games. He has uh, tremendous looking figures. Uh, I really like them because they're they 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 look like 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 dwarves. Uh, they're in the right proportion and they're very very fun and easy to paint. And then I rounded out the army. Uh, with some figures from Demon World, like uh, the Arquebus um, and some of the machines. But uh, yeah, each, each army has painted, uh, or each clan, uh, differently. Some of these models are just spectacular. Uh, the catapult engines, uh, I put rocks on them to make it look a little bit more plausible. Wonderful sculpts. These machines also... Just fantastic, the various pieces of artillery. I really just even enjoyed the miniatures and the sculpting that was done um, on each, each and every one. So it was almost like uh, little mini dioramas. I really enjoyed putting it together and, and watching it kind of develop in different stages. But I might have gone a little bit overboard, but Dwarven Army probably wasn't this large, but I really, really enjoyed the sculpts and uh, how they turned out when they got painted. I enjoyed doing uh, banners and really giving it its own flavor and its own look. So I hope that you uh, enjoyed it. Maybe have a little inspiration if you're into fantasy and, and uh, maybe uh, if you give me some tips, maybe I'll... I'll redo some of the units based on your suggestions. But you can see Ed has gone to a great detail at uh, Battle Valor uh, to put together some very, very nice um, looking figures, in my opinion. 
So, you know, these have, I, I, to be honest, each, each clan is painted after uh, some of my favorite football teams. <laughs> Black and red and orange and blue and uh, red and white. Uh, I don't know. I just came up with a, with a theme, found the flags that I liked, and uh, um, painted them. Uh, various different units, uh, crossbow and, and uh, you know, I don't even know the names of some of these units. Uh, I don't know the lore as well as, as, as some, uh, berserkers, etc. But I really enjoyed putting this, this army together. And as you can see, there's, um, you know, different uh, classes of warriors. But for the most part, it's a stodgy, mean um tremendously powerful little little force and uh, there's a lots of little cute figures around with the uh, bald-headed men and axes i even have um uh, over here which i think is just really really fun this is my my uh for each clan they brought their bear mounted warriors aren't those gorgeous figures I mean, I can't get much closer uh, than that, but I think some of the photos I've put in uh, will give you an idea. Uh, and then combined with, uh, uh, with hand-painted flags on tin, uh, they turned out very, very nicely. But uh, I, I think those are, are pretty menacing. I mean, if there was a huge horde of bear-ridden dwarves coming at me, I'd probably roll a double one and, and run. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, yeah, there you kind of get an idea of, of the magnitude and size of the Krauss Collection Dwarf Force. It would give my elves a real run for their money or some of the other fantasy armies that I have. So... I try to put one up every now and then, but this was in uh, in regards to uh, a dash of Elan um, asking to see a couple of fantasy armies, and so I will comply as a good friend should. You know, people always ask me, what rules do I use? Well, for the fantasy side, I'm not quite sure I have one. I just picked up fantastic battles. Uh, I always enjoy the... Um, um, games by Rick Priestley and so there's a couple of other out there but if anybody has any suggestions of some really good rules uh, to use with dwarves elves and other types of armies I would be be grateful I even thought of trying to use uh, Rick Priestley's new Erewhon to see if I could adapt that to fantasy battles so if anybody has any suggestions I'd, I'd love to hear well, I hope you enjoyed this dwarf Army.